And obviously, the top story is Joe Biden been elected America's 46th president. Five days yeah. after Election Day. Oh, President-elect wow. Biden is now moving ahead with his transition plans. Today, he's expected to name his coronavirus task force. This is despite President Trump not yet conceding the race. The Trump campaign plans to file lawsuits in several states where the results were close. On Sunday, President Donald Trump visited Las Vegas, Nevada. He alleged there were a bunch of issues with Nevada's ballots. Even if they had merit, which the vast majority of them do not, they wouldn't result in the overturning of the election. They might result in a few dozen ballots here or there being thrown out. So there you have professionals and analysts saying that President Trump has yet to offer any evidence of the voter fraud he's claiming. And President Trump's son-in-law and advisor Jared Kushner reportedly approached him to discuss conceding the election. Sources say Kushner is trying to help the president accept the loss. First Lady Melania Trump is also reportedly told the president that he should concede. However, the president does not seem to be anywhere near doing that, tweeting on Saturday, I won this election by a lot. Now, President-elect Biden seems intent on carrying out several priorities once he takes the oath of office. He has several executive orders under consideration, including putting the U.S. back into the Paris Climate Accord and the World Health Organization. Biden also plans to reinstate DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program.